What Stephen Hawking showed in a landmark couple of papers is that if you consider quantum theory, quantum mechanics, in the vicinity of the horizon of a black hole, then you find that they glow. They produce particles. They have a temperature. This thing that we pictured in Einstein's theory as pure geometry, just distorted space and time, actually emits particles. It's called Hawking radiation. And Stephen, in his 1974 paper, gives this hand-wavy description, which is kind of a nice way to picture what's happening. The idea is to zoom in in the vicinity of the event horizon of a black hole. You can picture what's happening as a series of particles coming in and out of existence all the time, so-called entangled particles. And so one of those pairs of particles is on the inside of the event horizon and one is on the outside. And then it can happen that the one on the outside, instead of merging back with its partner again, can escape into the universe, removing energy from the black hole as it goes, therefore it's shrinking, which means that one day it will be gone. That has profound implications. So black holes are not eternal prisons. They have a lifetime. One day, whatever's in there is returned to the universe. The question was, the central question that was immediately raised by those calculations is this. What happened to all the stuff that fell in? The way I've described it, the way Einstein's theory describes it, is somehow that stuff goes to the singularity, whatever that thing is, the end of time, the region of space-time that's so convoluted and distorted that we don't understand how to describe it at all. But then, one day, the whole thing is gone. All that's left in the far, far future is Hawking radiation, those particles that were produced in the vicinity of the event horizon. The question is, is it possible if you could collect all that radiation, all the Hawking radiation through the whole life of the black hole, is it somehow possible, in principle, that the information about everything that fell into the black hole throughout its history is imprinted in that radiation in the far future? 